Yo, what's good, y'all? This your man, Mondo Raymore, courtesy of DV Sports Works. I won't be too long with this. Well, I guess <laughs> it's always got to be a fall guy, right? So the Bears fire OC Shane Waldron, who we all know played a very big part in uh, Geno's development. But, uh, you know, and the quote, uh, the quote, James Jones, I don't like it. I hate it. But, you know, I got to be a fall guy. And I guess we know who next. But I say that for another video. What I have to say to that, I mean, I don't know, man. You got former Seattle players saying that when they hired Shane Waldron, they could have told you the offense was going to be shit. I don't know. Seattle offense didn't look like shit last year. They was okay. Gino was definitely balling. But I get it, you know. Quarterback's not improving. He's not playing at a high level. And it could be just Caleb. I don't know, man. I don't, it's only so many ways you can simplify a playbook for a quarterback. But Caleb is a rookie, so I'm not going to heat no garbage on him. I'm not big on him. Not a fan at all. But you, I, I'm big enough to say he's talented. You know what I'm saying? He has, a, he has athleticism and whatnot. Maybe the Bears system just ain't him. Or maybe they'll just get some. Maybe they'll get somebody in that can work with him. I don't know. And like I said, I guess we know who next. But uh, I'm not gonna shed no tears for Shane Waldron. He'll be he'll be working next week. You know how this league is. But yeah. I know that makes some Bears fans happy, and then you got some Bears fans. Well, it is what it is. So yeah, Bears fire OC Shane Waldron and uh Let's see how long the immortal coach Eberflus keeps his job. <laughs> this is your man Mondo Ray Boy, DV Sports Work.